there are more people recording and sharing video than any other time before. We've got people recording video on their phones, on their DSLRs, and as a result, when we surveyed folks on social media and asked what they'd like to see more of, there was a tremendous amount of interest in video editing in Photoshop, specifically things like extracting a still image from video using Photoshop. And today I want to show you how that's done. So here we are in Photoshop's open dialog, and video support is as simple as just clicking on a file and it will open. As we can see, plays smoothly, and I can do all sorts of different things with the video. But let me show you two ways to extract a still image from your video. So the first would begin just like that file, where we just go ahead and open it. But once we've opened it, there's all sorts of moments here I might want to extract. So maybe I'll choose later. What I want to do is come down here to this little arrow and click on that, and that's going to allow me to render out the video. So I want to choose where I'm going to put it. I want to switch from Adobe Media Encoder to Photoshop Image Sequence. Choose my file format. Maybe I want an uncompressed Photoshop document. And I can choose my size, although I'd, uh, I deal with that in a slightly different way uh, in this next part. And then we can talk about how many different frames. Now, obviously, 694 frames, the frames pile up really quickly in video. I'm not going to render all of those out right now, but this is one way to extract a bunch of stills from video. If you're not sure which one you want to look at, that would be a great way to go. Another way to go would be to come down here to your import dialog and go to video frames to layers. Same idea, it's just letting you visualize it uh, on the import. And so let's choose this grass that's blowing in the wind here, and we'll get this little preview dialog. I can play that, and I can see that there's pretty much no motion at the beginning, and then a little bit. I just want one still from this image. So I'm going to grab these little endpoints, and as soon as I do, and as soon as I let go, then I'll see that it's automatically gone to selected range. It's selected just those layers, just those frames, and it automatically will make a frame from that animation. So if I click OK, those seven frames, as it works out, will come in as layers. I can turn those on. I expect them all to look pretty much exactly the same. Just to be safe, because I wasn't shooting on a tripod, I'm going to shift click those, and I'm going to come up here to Edit, Auto Align. Now, it's not as important with this particular clip, but if I weren't on a tripod, then it would be really important to align that content, and you'd find that it will actually have the effect of stabilizing the video, because it'll align common content. Now that I've done that, I want to make a smart object from that. So I'm going to come to my layer menu, smart object, and convert that to a smart object. It's just going to put a wrapper around it. With that wrapper around it, I can come up here to smart object, stack mode, and I've got all of these different ways of filtering that information. If I do median, I'm not going to see too much from afar, but what it's going to do is it's going to take any content that does not exist in half or more of the images and throw it away. So if there was a person walking through that sequence, that person would vanish. If there was dust or noise, that dust or noise would vanish. So we're going to get a better quality still. So now that I've done all that, the last thing I'll probably want to do is make it larger or sharper. And what's great about both of those is they have noise reduction built into them. Let's just look at image size. And it's 1920 by 1080 pixels. Pretty big for video, not very big for a still. But luckily with Photoshop, I can make this a lot larger. Even going to 400%, I can see that it holds together pretty well. And if I want, I can go into Preserve Details and apply some noise reduction to the end result. So a couple of quick and easy ways to resolve a still image from one of your video clips.